Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will uh, learning how to add a counter prompt to Windows right click context menu. It looks like this. For example, uh, we click the right button. You see here is the Anaconda uh, prompt. Before start uh, to show you how to do that, uh, let me explain why we are bothered to do that. Uh, maybe somebody ask me that. Okay, let's open the Anaconda prompt first and do something. You see, uh, in this Anaconda prompt, um, for example, we want to change uh, the path uh, to our working directly. For example, here we have to do this D. Yeah, for example, we, my current working directly is in D disk. We have to D. Then CD change. For example, I have a food called my lecture. Then the subfolder is uh, with uh, lead and lies like this. Then no, uh, we are in the uh, working uh, directly. Yeah, that means here, you see, uh, in D, uh, my lecture my lecture, this one. Yeah, I have a lot of uh, uh, notebook. Yeah, this is my working directory, for example. I have to do in this way, uh, yeah, in the Anaconda prompt. But if we uh, add the prompt, uh, prompt on the right click, you see, we are just uh, go to this folder, for example, then we uh, right click and open in Anaconda prompt. You see, it already in the uh, in the path of uh, working directly. We just, uh, for example, we want to start Jupyter Notebook. No, we are just type Jupyter Notebook, then start. You see, it's very convenient uh, in this way. So this is why, okay? Because this computer has already um, add. So I um, go to another new uh, system to show you how to do that. Okay, first let's search Anaconda prompt. And uh, on the prompt, yeah, this one. Just right click and choose to open file location. Yeah, is here, this one. So right click Anaconda prompt, Anaconda 3. Then go to properties yeah properties you see this target just the copy copy close it then you can open any um, text editor here we add a new text document yeah you can use any text editor uh, you mean microsoft word or something like that then open we passed yeah the path we just copied we delete these useless things yeah to we just keep the uh, from the cmd.exe this 
and also remove the quotation mark. Yeah, this quotation mark around. Okay, okay. And remove uh, the C user and uh, this information. Just leave this uh, till to the dot uh, bet. Yeah, this information. Yeah, something like this. Yeah, here is my computer name. Uh, yours are different, uh, not direct copy uh, mine. Okay. Then we copy the path of, of Anaconda Navigator icon. Yeah. In fact, in the same folder, uh, in this same folder here. Yeah, this one. If, uh, yeah, I think for Windows, yeah, normally they are in the same folder. If not, you are just uh, search um, as we uh, search Anaconda prompt. Yeah, open the location. Yeah, then we also right click Anaconda Navigator because we want to use this icon. Yeah, this is nice. So this time we also uh, go to properties, uh, but we go to the change icon, this one. We just copy this information. Yeah, here. We pass it into this text editor. Put here, we will use it. Uh, for this, we just keep uh, the uh, original without any um, uh, uh, edit. Yeah, here, just a user pro uh, profile, something like that. Yeah, I think, yeah, the every computer has the same. Okay, no. Let's go to next step. We run the registry edit, edit, editor it's called reg edit dot exe yeah we just uh, still search we type re, yeah you see registry editor this one we just double click to open it yeah it's here no, we let's from the very beginning. We click this H key underscore class classes underscore root. Yeah, this one. Yeah, the first one. Click. Then we go to the directly directory. D B B C D directly here. This one directly. We go to the background. Yeah. Then we go to shell. No, we add a key named Anaconda prompt. Yeah, we just click, right click the shell. Then go to new, then key. We give a name called and no conda prompt yeah this one give this name we set his value set his value here yeah the right part right window or panel we just click the default this then we set the value is Open in Anaconda prompt. Yeah, any name. You can give anything you like. This is the uh, the name um, on the uh, right click menu. Okay, then set okay. Next, we add a sub key called command. Sub key. We 
yeah still click this anaconda prompt then right click that means then we give a key okay give a name amount like this okay now we copy and uh, just now we just edit the first one the cmd.ese uh, to the activity.bet yeah that means the first in the text editor yeah i already put in this slide so we just double click this and set the value just past what we copy yeah it's here no if you go to the uh for example here yeah you can see already here open in and count the prompt but we need this icon yeah here uh, looks nice i'll put the icon here so no we click the anaconda prompt yeah and here the right uh, panel we just uh, right click new we choose string value string value not the key but a string value we name it i icon this then double click open and copy this one the icon path we passed here the value data then click ok ok no let's see you just right click uh, on the windows 11 uh, just click show more option here you see no it's already um, in the uh, right click menu including the icon you see if we click it's nice okay thank you uh, see you in next lecture